this is the before of this drawer. And this is the after. This literally looks so much better. I'm obsessed. So after two weeks, our bed just got delivered. Whoop. So it's a nectar mattress, California King. What? On your side, on your side. So I think we just roll it out, right? Mm -hmm. So we should we put it on the side? Yeah. And then pull it out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it feels good though. Mm -hmm. I'm it's excited still, like, to like forming too because it's very compressed right now. Yeah. But in due time, it'll like lift get and then fluffy. you'll get yeah. But right now it's just like dense, but like with That's time, it'll it three to five good hours. Still. Yeah. This is good with the TV right there. Oh yeah, it's like a and good height because last time it seemed like kind of up, but like now it's like perfect. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. It looks good. Are you happy? Yeah. I'm happy with the purchase. Dang, it looks so good. Now I want to go to Home Goods. Why? To get pillows. You have. No, you like, got two free pillows. Like decor pillows. What do you think, Bubs? That's your bag. Oh, he likes it. <laughs> So I just got a new phone case in the mail and I figured I would unbox it and show you guys. Ignore my band-aid. I always stab myself at work with the tagging gun. So I always have band-aids on my hands. But anyway, I thought I would show you guys. Hold on. It's a leather case and I picked out the green color. I'm so excited. I love green as y'all know. So I'm gonna trade it out for this black case. Okay, so this is it with the green case. It's a leather phone case. Love the quality, obsessed with the color, and I'm so excited. There's nothing like a new phone case. And I actually just got a box in from Curology, which this is not sponsored. I have been really struggling with my skin, to be honest with you. 
and I kind of thought I would try this out and be honest with you guys and give you my real honest opinion because well it's not sponsored the kit that they personally designed for me so that's what's really cool about Curology my friend Madeline actually tried it a while back and she had a really good experience so I decided that I would give it a try because my skin is really not how it used to be and I'll go into that in a minute but let me see what they sent okay so this is the skincare routine that they formulated for me so they sent me these emergency spot patch things to put on like problem spots which I've been seeing a lot of people talk about like pimple patches on social media so I'm really excited to try these and then my personalized as prescription type situation yeah so it comes with these acids and this is specially designed for my skincare needs obviously also if you know you know my first name is JC I go by my middle name I literally always have but I avoid it at all costs because it makes life complicated. Thanks, mom. Let's talk about the current situation with my skin. So, I actually stopped taking birth control. I think it's been three to four months now. My skin, literally, I feel like it has like gone back, like gone backwards. So, if you can tell, it's definitely got a lot of texture that i didn't have previously little background on my skin i took accutane for over a year at the beginning of high school i think i started it like the end of my eighth grade year and then into my freshman year like the entire freshman year of high school i took accutane because my skin was really bad they called me pizza face but anyway boys thought it was funny to call me pizza face anyway i had really bad like cystic acne which has since been coming back at the moment it's not really present because i don't know it just goes in phases but there's definitely a lot of scarring that i did not have until recently so my skin definitely has gone backwards but that's to be expected when going off of birth control because a lot of times um, your body, like the hormones, I've been doing a lot of research on it, obviously, but a lot of times your hormones will react after you go off of a medication that is putting artificial hormones back into your body. I don't know if I explained that correctly, but I'm really just trying to like give you the basis for my situation here so, um reason why i went off birth control was because honestly it made me feel crazy and um the birth control i was on specifically was making me bleed for like a month out of time and at that point i just don't see the point of taking birth control if i'm just gonna bleed for the whole month and i was taking it before i initially started taking it because my periods were really like heavy and just bad and crampy and it was really hard for me to like function in day-to-day -day life because they were that bad but the birth control was making it worse um, i was on it for like three years but they did like a rebranding and apparently the prescription was exactly the same but as soon as they did the rebranding my body started reacting completely differently to the medication so i literally just stopped taking it but i really just tried to like listen to my body give it a full cleanse of the hormones because i've definitely heard a lot of research that's come out about birth control and i just kind of wanted to give my body a break so that's kind of what's going on right now i don't really know what my next step will be in terms of my birth control situation but I'm not too worried about it because like I said, I literally just took it for the severity of my periods. So that's why I'm trying Curology. I will keep you guys updated on my experience. Obviously, it's not sponsored at all. They do a lot of sponsorships with YouTubers though and on Instagram. They are a very marketed business. So I wanted to actually try it out and give you guys my honest opinions. So stay tuned for how that journey goes for me. But anyway just a little skincare life update i guess <laughs> good morning guys i literally just woke up 10 minutes ago 
I'm chugging water right now. I got the um, hydration multiplier. They're called hydration multipliers by Liquid IV. And I've been putting it in my 40 ounce hydro flask and like chugging it in the morning. And I feel like it makes a big difference. So that's what's going on here. And I'm gonna make the bed. It's literally pouring down rain. Anyway, it's time to get the day started. So I'm gonna make the bed. I probably should like look in the mirror before I, I pick up my camera, but I just don't. <laughs> Here's the finished product on the bed. Um, I didn't finish showing you guys the other day because we hadn't gotten everything yet. So we got this linen comforter from the Casa Luna line at Target. It's really nice. Um, but it's like a nice natural like linen material. I don't know if you can tell the texture. But then I have this blanket at the end. It's a little bit darker. And that is from Home Goods a couple months ago. And then everything else up there. The bed frame is from Wayfair, if you're wondering. Our nightstands are from Living Spaces. Lamps are from Amazon. Let me know if y'all want the links for any of this. I'm kind of bad about linking things, but I can be better. Dresser. Dresser is from Living Spaces as well. And we mounted our TV, finally. Also, I'm starting to hate the fact that our laundry room is right there because it looks so ugly and I always forget to close the door. But our closet's in here too, so it's just so much easier because we're going in and out of here. It's kind of a mess. Lots of cleaning to do today. I'm gonna make my morning coffee really quick. The Nespresso pod I'm using today is the Starbucks blonde roast um it's just an espresso and then i put it over a lot of ice and some creamer but i wanted to show you guys these are my favorite ice cubes ever because they're perfectly shaped like squares and it's so satisfying to pull them out like that is j just really enhancing my life so and they're just so i don't know i just love them and i love the way they look in my cup and honestly i'm convinced that it keeps my coffee colder for longer don't think that there's science behind that, but we're gonna go with it. But I got this little cube tray, ice tray thing from Home Goods, if you're wondering. But I've been seeing them everywhere. Anyway, I'm going to brew this over the ice. So my current favorite creamer combo right now, I add oat milk and then I add a little bit of this to add flavor. Um, since I brewed an espresso shot, it's only like that much. So I add oat milk and then I add some creamer in there. So I'm gonna put that much oat milk and then the creamer. Add about that much. Stainless steel straw really just fries it all in. I'm gonna add some stevia drops. Add them up here. And I think I'm gonna add some cinnamon on top too. Perfect. I don't even know if you can hear me because it's raining literally so hard, but we put up this fencing type situation. It's actually also someone's moving trucks down there. That's why, it, you know, it's there. But we put up this like fencing for the cats so they can't jump down. It looks like this, 
but it's actually for gardens. But we just wanted them to be safe out here, obviously, so. Archie loves it. Still deciding if we want to keep this set up. So we kind of want to get a table and chairs. Not sure yet, but it's kind of just out here for now. And then we need to hang these lights up. We need to get command hooks for that. This is what he does when he doesn't want to come inside because he knows I can't get him out of here. Um, Archie, come on, come inside, come inside, please. I also wanted to show you guys, I've been listening to Glennon Doyle on Audible and I really like this because I can just put my headphones in when I'm cleaning or doing laundry or something like that. Not sponsored at all, but I always hear people talk about it and I thought I would give it a try. Also, when I do like merchandising shifts at work early in the morning, I'll turn on a book or something and it'll just like kind of keep my mind going, which I love. But this book is really good and she actually is the one reading the story, which I find to be um, really valuable because it's her story. So highly recommend this book. Listen to it a little bit while I do some laundry because it's raining and there's only so much you can do when it rains. Does anyone else feel this way? Like I feel like now I can't like go out and about and do things because I'm just gonna get soaking wet and driving is just so much more stressful. If you're like this too, let me know. <laughs> she should always understood that she and her 